Hello everyone, welcome back to Rockwell Automation Service. Now I will show you how to insert and config for an Ethernet IP IO network. From PLC to IO motors include the Ethernet motor, adapter, and IO motors. Firstly, we create a new project. and add a BOC CPU model L83E Select the chassis and slot Insert an Ethernet IP motor 1756EN2T to local chassis. We expand IO configuration here and right click on a backplane and insert new motor. We tie in a search box EN2T and select the motors. 1756 EN2T Then create We tie the name of motor here Local Ethernet Description I tie Local Ethernet Next is IP address 192168 1 and 111 For motor definition the division we keep default electronic key in we keep competitive compatible motor red connection and Thai sync connection we keep is none Slot number, I let it number 1 Then OK That's done for local internet motors If the internet motors in the remote chassis we do the same but we will insert on the remote backplane. Now I will we will insert a, an Ethernet adapter. This adapter normally in the remote cabinet on site. In the Ethernet network of local Ethernet module, we just create Right click and insert new module. We type in the search box and select the motor name 1794 AENT. Then create. We type the name here. Ethernet adapter 1 Decryption with high Ethernet adapter IP address we set 192.168.1.111 
and for the hardware we can adjust the number on the hardware the default IP of hardware E 192168 one and XXX and we use the tool to adjust the XXX directly on the hardware for module definition we click on change and select revision E4001 for electronic key we select compatible modules for rec connection because our chassis will have analog module so we don't need rec optimization for chassis type I select maximum slot number finally click on OK ok now I will show you how to insert the IO motors in the chassis of Ethernet adapter we will have four motors input analog 1794IE12 output analog 1794OE8 output digital 1794IP16 and output digital 1794 OP16. Of course, for the hardware, we need the REC 1794 TB3G for each motor. Okay, we come to the flex bus in Ethernet adapter 1. Right click and insert new motor. We search IE12. And select the motor 1794IE12 then create the name of motors I type e analog motor 1 analog input 1 the description of motors I type e analog input 1 motor definition we keep the default setting slot is zero then we come to connection tab request packet interval RPI specific the rate at which the IO motor send it data I let it 40 milli, millisecond the connection over Ethernet IP we have two options unicast and multicast An unicast transmission stream send IP packet to a single recipient on a network. A multicast transmission send IP packet to a group of hosts on the network. Now we just let it unicast. Next is uh, motor info. We do nothing. Next, the channels tab. I use the device feedback time 4 to 20 milliampere. So I let it on channel is 4 to 20 milliampere. 
if you use the device feedback from 0 to 20 mA or minus 10 volt to 10 volt type you can reselect it then apply and ok Next, we insert uh, analog output motors. We right click on the flex bus and insert new motors. We search the motors 1794 OE12. And create. We type the name E analog output 1. And then in description, the analog output one. The motor definition we keep default. Then we come to connection tab. Request this. Packet interval RPM RPI allotted forty millisecond. And select the unicast. Next the channel tab. I let on channel is 4 to 20 mA. Set station value. This very important. Why? This is the conflict when the motor fall. If the motor fall, the value that will be sent out is maximum or minimum or a setting value will impact to operation for example if we use this motor to control the steam the steam control valve if we set the feedback value in maximum value when motor fall then at that time the control valve will open 100 percent and flood on on steam to system and can connect uh, over pressure or overheat is not safe for operation so for this parameter I recommend we set it in the minimum value for communication 4 I select apply set state value for two outputs for program mode we should select whole last output then ok next we insert digital input motor we right click on the flex bus and insert new motor. We set the motor 1794 IB16. Then create. We type the name in digital input 1. And decryption is digital input one. For motor definition, we keep default. Slot, keep slot two. Then we come to connection tab. RPI, I let it twenty milliseconds. 
and click on use unicard connection over Ethernet IP in point tab keep before okay next we insert digital output motors we right click on flexbus and insert new motor we search the motor 1794 ob16 then create we tie the name e digital output one and description e digital output one for motor definition we keep before slot keep slot 3 then we come to connection path RPI let it 20 milliseconds tick on use unicast connection over internet IP in point tab here we on the safe state value Communication for behavior and program mode behavior. We, we select whole last output. Okay. So it's done for how to insert and config the Ethernet motor adapter and IO motors. See you in the next video.